going to arrange that as carefully as I can so that the blue pointer of the compass is pointing due north. Obviously, there's no current going into this thing right now. So, I can get to the electrodes later. So, we carefully align this so that when there's no current in these coils, this is called magnet wire in here. It looks like it's ordinary copper, but they're insulated from each other. So if you need to make a connection, you take a razor blade and you scrape the insulation off. So right now, as nearly as I can tell, no current here. So this is causing no magnetic field. And the compass is pointing due north. And then I move this so that it says zero. Now what does that mean? What that means is right now, the total magnetic field makes a zero degree angle with respect to this plane. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a DC current, we're going to run it through an ammeter that can measure up to 10 amperes, and we're going to run a current through this. Now we derived this in class, you'll derive it again for your lab report. Using the law of Bio and Savart, what is the magnetic field at the center of this? It's N mu zero I over 2R, where R is the radius of this circle. So you can see there's a little cut here to help you measure the radius, but of course that's going to be one of the sources of error, because what you need to know is what's the radius formed by this copper, mm -hmm. and we've got this metal yoke in the way, so you have to do the best you can and estimate. So that's going to be one of the sources of error. So right now, the total magnetic field is in this direction, meaning it makes a zero degree angle with respect to this direction. All right, now let me get the ammeter. video later? A week out. <laughs> yeah, my memory is really bad, so I use this. You can't use this anymore because this is all designed to prevent large currents, and we need large currents now. Come out of here. DC power. We set this so that it reads 10 amperes. And we go into the 10 ampere input. We come out of that. We go over. Notice how this is labeled. So between here and here, n is equal to 5. Uh, between here and here, n is equal to 10. And between here and here, n is equal to 15. So I, don't know, I guess we'll start with 5 first. You know, when you build a circuit, you just trace it. So on the charge, I come out of here, I go through the ammeter, I come to here, I go to there, I go around and around and around, I come out and I go back. So that's the circuit. I pumped it so it wasn't making a zero degree angle. I need to turn on the juice, otherwise we got nothing. So with no current, it wasn't it just pointing in the Earth's magnetic field already? In other words, this is a compass needle. Yes. Sir. So it will always line up with the total magnetic field. It doesn't know where it's coming from. Okay. So that needle will always line up with the total magnetic field here. And of course, we know about vector addition. 
we have one component of the Earth's magnetic field that is a constant. And what we're going to add is a variable magnetic field at 90 degrees to that. So if this gets bumped, all you have to do is make for sure there's no current and make for sure that as nearly as possible the compass needle is point the compass needle is in the plane pointing due north and then you want it to be reading zero degrees so that's when it gets bumped and it will that's how you restore it to the beginning condition so now I'm going to just I'm going to treat the, the easiest thing to do since we have a digital meter to read current the easiest thing to do is to just set it to 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees rather than 16.42 degrees or whatever. So the lab manual maybe says don't go above a certain angle, I forget. 60 degrees. 60 degrees. So go up in 10 degree increments. Now we've got an angle of 10 degrees and a current of 0.14 ampers. So let's analyze that one data point, and after that, you're going to be on your own. 